Hi, I'm Dr. Frank Gerges from Science and Algae Wellness Center of North Scottsdale. Uh, sharing some questions that have been brought up to our pa uh, from our patients to us. And the next question was, what are the risks associated with balloon sinuplasty? The reason that I chose to be an early adapter to balloon sinuplasty is the fact that we could actually do this procedure with very minimal risk to the nasal cavity or to the structures surrounding the nose and the sinuses. As we know, the eyes are in the outside wall of the nose and the brain is on the roof of the nasal cavity. So we want to make sure that we're working in the safe areas and we're avoiding the danger areas. So when we do the procedures in the office, we're doing the, patient, we're doing the procedure with the patients under mild sedation and local anesthesia. So oftentimes patients have the procedure performed and have no discomfort whatsoever. I've had patients say that, the doctor, do you want to do it all over again? And I don't know why they asked me to do that other than they said later on that if they do it a second time, maybe I'll have a better outcome. We looked into that and the studies have been performed and we do not need to do it a second time. But the fact that the patient offered me to do it a second time was very interesting because he tolerated the procedure with very little discomfort at all. So the risks to the eye and the risks to the brain are very, very limited. And I'm not, certainly it never has happened to me using balloon sinus techniques. Um, so I think that I chose to employ this technique because of the safety of it. Typically, the things that may occur the most common with the balloon sinuplasty could be a little bit of a trickle of bleeding afterwards. Um, that's very rare because we're not doing any cutting inside the nose. We're using the balloon, and the balloon's going from inside the sinus as it's expanding. It's creating a widening effect to the sinus narrow drainage pathways. The long-term benefits of that shows eight years afterward that 90 to 95 percent of patients have the same nice wide openings as they had the day of the procedure. So as far as outcomes go, outcomes uh, definitely are the same as patients who have the traditional surgery, um, but easier recovery, easier on the patient as far as no general anesthesia. It's cost effective, and we've had significant um, uh, outcomes showing patients noticing that their chronic head pain that they've had or facial pain has been gone. Um, patients have congestion that's significantly improved. Frequency of sinus infections drops dramatically. And then finally, their quality of sleep improves as well. So if we can improve the breathing pathways, reduce headaches, and reduce the number of sinus infections, we're really happy with our outcomes from the balloon sinuplasty. And that's typical for all of our patients. Thank you.